connection with the figure, maybe? Okay, we will think about that in a moment. There's other stuff to steal. Also, jelly to eat. And Carmelite water to take. We've already used all of this devil sword. Never mind. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Reni. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Okay, those are the pilgrims. Maybe. Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Reni. All right. St. Mark. Someone's getting too clever here. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. I don't have a key. Pick both locks. Huh. Maybe. This is a good time for this. Ha ha. <laughs> we figured it out. Okay, well, Devil's Thorn. Oops, wrong one. I should use this. Hopefully I hopefully I end up in a uh, conversation here in a moment. The hell is that? Sophistria. It's Saint John. Painted by Guido Rini. A lot of Guidos here. Alright. Dante? Nope. The New Testament. Okay, so we have Paul. Oh, God. All right. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. Oh, there's going to be so much to read here. Observe painting. A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord. Transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Okay, safe way to communicate, trust in my faith with the man with the sword. That is the man with the sword. Alright, let's get back to reading here. Saint Paul Think about by Secret Code. So we have the figure 11 twice underlined, and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with a figure, maybe? Saint Paul I don't know what this is, but... Guido Rini. Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the 13th apostle. All right. So that is Paul. Paul. Uh, Got to gotta be an 11 here. There we go. Chapter 11, verse 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. For to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait. A note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. What does it say? Dear E, I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does Mother mean by that? Uh... This is an apostle. Scrutinize the frame. St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. Hey, wait! That means it's him. He's the youngest apostle. Right. This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. painting looks like it's been taken down recently. What was it my mother said? That she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle. Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. 
On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? That sounds like some chess stuff. See? Chess. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies? Through the Bible. Okay. So. Uh. It's not there. Maybe there's something here. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Reni. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Okay, well, I can't search behind them, can I? Great. Is there anything in the, in the fireplace? There's not. I'm lost. Kind of. Yeah, we got, let me listen to this again. God. I understand my Gmail account settings are out of date. But stop telling me. Think about the frame. Think about the, let's think about the code again. The aforementioned book. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code. The one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies? Okay. What the hell does that mean? Back to the Bible. Analyze book. This book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. A volume of the Gutenberg Bible. All right, we have to read. So, this was, we went and found the one that was to the Corinthians 2? No. Romans? Yeah, okay, so we went with the Romans. No, I've got no idea. No clue, honestly. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, for we are as reprobates. No, I've got no idea. This has got, this is difficult. This one is finally uh, extra rough. There's nothing worth noticing here. Check anyway. It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. Okay. There are finger marks deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight and all. So the number eight. No, nothing of value here. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. It's a sentence in Hebrew. I can't fucking read Hebrew. Okay. Not good at languages. Alright, so we've learned a little bit there. I'm gonna go back here and talk to this guy. Not talk to him, but look at the frame. There's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? So, uh, Corinthians. I'm not gonna spend all that on there, so let, let's go ahead and spend our skill point. Pilgrims. If I'm not mistaken, numbered respectively 12 and 14 in the last painting. With the simple operation suggested, that would mean that the new groups are six and seven. Okay, so six and seven, and eight, 
and Corinthians. Let's just check out Corinthians and see if we can find six and seven or something like that. Um, Paul, Corinthians, verse six. Ah, oh, there we go. Chapter six, verse seven. Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, oh, look, here's a message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims, how many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. Okay. So... Six. There was a number eight at one point as well, so... Something about Hebrews at one point. But that Six which and beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, Let's see tomorrow evening, in the south room, where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the acts counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left, in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. Okay, back to Paul. I believe these are the new pilgrims here. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Reni. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Okay. There's still nothing to do there. Damn. All right, back to Paul. I don't know. I didn't get any more numbers out of that one. Is there anything in here? Any apostles in here? No, but I'm gonna check this frame just in case. Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Okay, four. St. Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? Um. Well, we got the number four. See, I, I knew I should come back here. But we're still dealing with Paul, so we need to find the number four somewhere in here. Might be a good amount of them, so let's just keep going here. Romans, there's no four. Corinthians 1, Corinthians 2, chapter 4. Because we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay, that wasn't it. Oh. Paul 1 2. Those Corinthians, Galatians, back to the beginning. Paul of two of two. Oh, we were already on the Philippians. Thessalonians, chapter four, verse five. Not in the lustful desire, even as the Gentiles who knew not nope. God. Oh, this is um, this is getting rough. Okay, when Paul understood, he went back on his tracks. South, e South room? He goes somewhere. I don't think I got everything here. There's nothing worth noticing here. Okay. Candlestick behind the painting. Already looked at all this stuff. 